Many students crave a fall reading week if their college doesn't offer one. But is it really needed? If what we're trying to do is contribute to student success, and only mean the student's ability to uh, be successful at this institution, uh, the question becomes how can we best do that? Many universities, such as Laurier, University of Windsor, and Ryerson University, have adopted the Fall Reading Week tradition. But for what reason? The big issue that comes up is generally around issues of mental health. Fall Reading Weeks have a certain purpose, revolving around mental health, as well as student suicides during the school year. But does the week help students with their schoolwork, or will they just go out and party? But I think the, the issue is more from an academic perspective, from an educational perspective. What, rather than assuming what students might do, why not try to define what we think can best support them? I think that really is the issue. Because we'll have a wide range of what students do. Some students have worked very hard that week. Others won't. So the question becomes, if a reading week doesn't work for some, what about a review week to help students go over their work? to study or get help from the learning commons or other resources. It would give us more time to study for the exam period and it would probably be a stress reliever also. He's already pretty crammed enough with exam weeks so with a little extra time it would help out a bit. Maybe a review week is what students need to help them de-stress as well as keep up with their academic work. But only the future can tell. For Spoke Online, I'm Nathan Brown.